Greetings everybody, Barry from H&W Machine Repair here. Today we are going to be installing a solid state phase converter onto a bridge, or I'm sorry, onto a milling machine. This is actually a jet it's going on to. Um, this motor is a three horsepower motor. So in this case, we are installing the PCO3VS. Um, bridge ports two horse take the 2VS um, and the um, J heads take the one. We also have many other sizes available, it, but these are very horsepower specific. So let's go ahead and get started on our installation. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to mount the box. So let's open up the kit and see what's in it. Got a cover, of course. Here's our instructions with all the wiring instructions and everything on it. Set of hardware with um, two um, knockout tie downs and some wire nuts. And then there's the solid state phase converter. Just nothing, doesn't look spectacular, but these things work fantastic. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the box. So I always remove the phase converter so I can set up my box and mount it. Just held in by a socket head cap screw. Set it aside, take it out and set it aside. Then I'm gonna take it and set it on there where I want it and mark it with my marker here. Okay, there we go. All right, now, basically the tools we're gonna need here for this, the tools we're gonna need for this project are, need a drill, drills and taps, you're gonna need a hammer with some sort of a punch. You'll need some Allen wrenches and some screwdrivers. Pretty much that's all we need. Well, you also need a pair of wire strippers. So let's go ahead and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna drill and tap. I use quarter 20s. So I'm gonna drill and tap these holes for quarter 20s. So just give me a couple minutes here. Okay, first thing we do obviously is mark where our holes are gonna go. I always, personally, I go with a smaller hole and then I go in my number seven. Okay, we have our holes drilled and tapped. We're gonna wipe our area down, so I like to keep it somewhat clean here. Okay. All right, our next step now, we have our box ready to go. You need to determine where are you going to run your power cords into. When I have plenty of room, I like to come in um, from the um, side where the switch is and then we will go out on the bottom. So I'm going to go punch this hole out and this hole out. Let's get our punch, our hammer and our punch. Take our plugs out. Okay, so we have our holes out. We are now ready to put our plugs in. Package open. Now you'll notice on these plugs, they have the, uh, this is the normal plug that goes in to a house. They've got the knockout here. If you need to use, knock it out, you can. Um, Normally these type of mills, the wire's already pretty small. So I really have no reason to knock those out. There we go. Now we're ready to mount the box. Um, again, I'm using quarter 20 socket head cap screws. Okay, 
Okay, now we're ready to reinstall the phase converter, get our wiring in and all that. So let's first start by bringing our wire down from the switch. And this would have been the original wiring going to your um, power source. We're now gonna come into the box. Slide it on in there. Here. I normally put this in first because once you start putting the phase converter back in, it gets a little bit tight sometimes. Okay, now we're going to put the phase converter back in. Now, one thing I want to tell you you can move this, like if you put it in a position and it's too tight. Like if you had it here and you go, oh, that's not going to fit well, this can go in any direction. So you can put it in like this and then you can sit in there sideways. does not matter one tiny bit. Either the wires there, so I'm just going to kind of canter it a little bit. It'll be perfectly fine. There we go. It's in. Okay. Now, next we're going to bring our wires for what would be coming from your single phase, 220 single phase, which is one thing critical. Make sure your motor's wired 220 when we're doing this because this runs 223 phase to single phase. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna put three wires in here and they'll be sitting there as kind of a stub until the customer gets it home and he can hook it up directly. So let me get those wires real quick and we'll get going on that. Okay, so basically, this is simulating your 220 single phase wiring coming through. And on up and in. Okay, so let's strip our wires a little bit more. Like these come in, they're very short. I personally like a little bit more room on that. Okay, so now here we go. We have the four wires, three hots on a ground coming from your motor. Here are your three wires that would be going from your power source. And then here's your phase converter wires, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do, and as far as the colors go, other than the greens, which are obviously the grounds, you can go ahead and tie those together. And you're gonna ground this inside the box. So. Um, if you've got a crimper and set, you can put a, um, a fork on there or you can just get under there and direct wire. I'm not going to do that right now because, again, we're just doing a demonstration. Okay, so what I do, you're going to do is I'm going to take one wire, which in this case I'll take the black. It's going to go directly to your power source. Wire nut, wire nut it together. And now you have one coming from your um, phase converter and it's going directly to your power um, to your power source. I'm sorry, one from the phase converter is going directly to the motor. Please disregard that previous statement. And then you have the last wire from your phase converter is combining with one wire to your motor and one wire to your power source. Okay. At this point, then again, you will hook your ground up and hook your power source up and it's ready to go. So let's go over this wiring one more time, okay? You have one wire that is going from your phase converter to the motor power. 
you have one wire that is going from the phase converter to the motor and to your power source from the wall. And then you have one wire that is going straight from your motor straight through to your power source. And then obviously your grounds. And that is it. That is all there is to it. Once it's all done, obviously, you know, you want to hook it up and, and power it. <clears throat> when you're all done, just tuck it all together and you're good to go. You are now running 223 phase motor with 220 single phase power. All right, now I have it all powered up to running 220 single phase. So let's turn her on and see how she gets sounds. There you go, it comes on just like normal. Maybe tiniest hesitation, but you're not going to lose enough power that anyone will ever notice it. So there we go. We have now installed and powered up the solid state phase converter. This one predictably going on a milling machine. So as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and please hit the bell icon for updates. Have a great day.